So I'm using Bim Classic, cuts through stains, etc. Non abrasive cream. Uh, I'm just using this to clean up the armor, just get rid of all those bits of dirt, etc., and clean it through. Uh, I'm prepping it to then spray uh, a metallic silver, which will be the base coat. And then I'm going to spray white over that, restoring it to its original color. The base coat is then going to act as uh, a layer for me to sand into and create sort of a weathered look. One piece I've finally finished. Scuffed up some of the edges, scratched in with some sandpaper, I also placed it on my shoulder and bashed into doorways uh, to simulate real sort of wear and tear. And then finished it off with a nice sort of semi gloss varnish. And yeah, I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. I can't wait to get the rest of it done. Picked up this mannequin the other day from a boot fair, 20 quid. Jazzed them up a little bit and uh, complete with a thong. Obviously, the mannequin is what's going to display the snowtrooper costume on, and uh, I'll probably have to pop him up in the corner because at the moment he doesn't really stand. As soon as he's on his feet, he kind of rocks back. This is the costume. Minus the head, so if we come in here, you can sort of see the dirt, the scratches, shoulder pads. This um, this abdomen sort of piece and this crutch piece still needs work on. Same with the hands. That's the snowtrooper armor in uh, nearly all its glory, and. I'd never realised how hard it was to dress mannequins, so people who are working retail and have to do that, hats off to you, because I had limbs falling off all the time. Really awkward and a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, and check this out. So my youngest brother knew that I was in need of a blaster, and they're so expensive. Hearing my desperate plea, he surprised me by building this one out of a sort of out of a toy that he found at a boot fair. I really appreciate the effort that he's gone through to make this. It was a total surprise. And uh, I can't wait for this to be finished to it. And it even <coughs> makes the sound effects. Yeah, a bit of fun. Thank you, Bradley. So, that's the costume complete. And now I'm going to wear this to London Comic Con. <laughs>
So there you have it. Although I didn't get to entirely finish the outfit, I'm quite happy with how it went and fingers crossed I'll have the costume completely finished as you saw there's only a couple bits left to do and I will have it done in time for Star Wars The Force Awakens opening night me my friends and brothers are going to go see it at Basildon the Empire Theatre and we're going to dress up Comic Con was fun but next time I think I will do it not hungover wearing a costume like that for several hours really starts to get to you it's a great atmosphere and I'm really impressed with the efforts that people go to to make their costumes and become these characters. Totally unprepared, however, for Comic Con when it came to filming. I thought it was being really clever by putting together this shoulder mount using GoPro accessories. But unfortunately, as you've seen from the footage, two thirds of the frame is my face or the helmet. You may also have noticed two dogs in the video the Alaskan Malamute, German Shepherd Cross is Pepper, she's about two years old I believe. And the black lab is Bruce, he's 10. Together they are incredible dogs, they are family dogs and I'm sure you'll see more of them in future videos. Finally, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it feels a bit rushed and forced together, but I'm still trying to learn how to juggle everything. And I'm sure future videos will show my progress and I just wanna thank you all for watching this video, uh, for the support you show me and have a great day. And I wish you all a fantastic day. Say hello to the camera. Hello, 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 hello. That's my, that's, that's it. See you later.